I just noticed out here in this old barn this pair of loppers right here made by let's see true living I think I don't know how well they work Every time we walk around, we always find some great tools. There's so many tools to find around here that is awesome. So these are going to come in handy. I think as I go around and start, um, the more I start finding things, like these yeah I'm gonna start collecting them and putting them up I hear the tractor somewhere sounds like somebody's doing some bush hogging but I can't see them I just hear them maybe they're buried in the bush no matter how many times we knock spider webs down you can't see it but they always they be right back it's senseless to knock them down. They'll be right back. As you can see, I did a lot of cutting in this bed. I didn't show you this. I don't know if you remember what it looked like at first, but this is it now. I got all that stuff out of there. It just didn't look good. And I got to do that side right there. Maybe I'll use these loppers to see how well they cut it down right here. Alright, so I'm out here doing some cutting. I literally just got a uh, whacked in the face with some bush that has these needles on them that resemble to me like porcupine needles and um, I'm really just thankful that uh, one didn't go directly sorry y'all I'm so close I'm just really grateful one didn't go directly in my eye so they were literally all over my face and I had to like barely open my eyes to reach for the camera to have a look at my face to see if I was getting them all off of me so I don't feel them anymore but they got me pretty good in the face I've been picking them off the dogs too because the dogs when they go in the bushes I'm gonna show y'all what these look like okay so is these things right here if y'all can see those those little things are the devil because once they stick you I mean it's hard to get them off they are all in the fur of my dogs and Jackson even has some under under him and boy did he fight like tooth and nail for me not to take those things off he literally almost bit me see these things all over my dog see how they're stuck in his hairs see they just stick and they just resemble to me porcupine needles and i pick them off of them but they go right back in the bushes look here's one right here by his face oh bud I'm trying to get that away from your eye but they're everywhere so I was cutting that bush and uh, man, one swung around and popped me in the face. <laughs> Phew. Lesson number one, be careful. <laughs> so now they wherever all the little places that they stuck me at, I feel it. 
in my face my my face feels like it's um has a slight burn or slight irritation to it these things here boy i hate those things i hate them let me see if i put my glove on it what it'll do watch this look at that see that look at that that's just from me putting my glove on them and pulling my glove off look at there look at the glove full of them even this hand full of them so these things here man these things here are something else so that's how they were in my face <laughs> shoot all right so I know I got a lot of editing to do on this video here, huh, Jackson? Okay. All right. I am done getting that cleaned out. And one of the things I discovered after getting all of the bush out here and over there, one of the things I realized is that this has been like this for so long that this literally is just a giant ant bed. This whole thing is covered in ants. Every time I pulled up a root, let me see if I can show you right here. Every time I pulled up a root, all I found, uh, let's see, I can't pull that one up. That one's too heavy. That's going to have to be dug out. But everywhere I pulled up something it was mostly fire ants so we're gonna take all of this wood out this wood has probably become a haven for termites because now it's like hollow on the inside it didn't been eaten all the way through so yeah now that I got that all cleared out and see what it's like um, yeah, now I have a better idea what I'm going to do. Once. But right now, I'm in search of something to do with this that I just cleaned out. So those loppers came in handy that I had. They really came in handy to get that mess cleaned up back there. But some of the stalks were very, very thick, so it made it easier to get them cut. And, you know, one of the other blessings as we go through and find all these little treasures on the property, because... The loppers, the hedge clippers, they were all in different spots on the property, all in different spots. But I like treasure hunts. <laughs> so these little treasures were great to find. So I'm going to go in and take a water break and cool off a little bit. I am burning up. So I'm going to get some uh, some water, cool down a second, and take a breath and come back outside and get right back to it. I got that cleaned out. All of the, uh, yeah, you can see, all of the beds back there are clean on this first row. So it's getting late in the evening. So what I think I'm going to do is just start on the second row and see how far I get before my husband gets here. When he gets here, I'll stop and um, and greet him. I miss him all day, you know. So I'll stop and greet him and more than likely when he gets off work, he's going to want to come right out here and go to work himself, you know. So, yeah. But we'll see. I'll come back out here and start on the second bed and work until he gets here. All right, y'all stay tuned.